Breaking news. Welcome to today's headlines. Military. Ebobe Ago behind attacks. Killings. Hype up alleges. Military. Ebobe Ago behind attacks. Killings. Hype up alleges. To my dear listeners from wherever you're listening from, please stay tuned as I read today's news. The indigenous people of Biafra has condemned the attacks and killings going on in Himo State. The group accused the Nigerian military and the Ago security outfit of being behind the attacks. Its alleged military personnel had gone from house to house, searching and killing innocent citizens just because they were deemed to be pro biafran agitators. In a statement, on Wednesday, the group's media and publicity secretary, Emma Powerful, said the activities of the military and a booby agol outfit were being financed by politicians and their collaborators. Powerful said that Obo and Olu residents were facing hard times, claiming that the security agencies, especially the military mapped, mapped out those communities for total destruction. He said, our people are under severe attack and torture anywhere they are seen. We are dying every day and night and the world looked the other way. They should stop feeding lies to the public. Nigerians joined security forces, especially the army and police, did not clash with unknown gunmen, ESN or civilians. Instead, soldiers invaded Olu and Obo local government areas and its everyone. Burned 17 innocent citizens alive and destroyed properties. The group therefore called on the international community, Amnesty International and Human Rights Watch organizations across the world to take note and prevail on the federal government and its security agencies to leave the Biafran territory. It said, HIPOP members were not terrorists, as its members were present in over 100 countries, without being treated as criminals. It claimed, that the people living in Olu and its everyone were under siege and total pressure to leave their ancestral land because of the federal government and its security agencies. Powerful said soldiers were busy killing innocent citizens simply because they were suspected to be LIPOP members without confirming that. The statement read in part, It is no longer news that the Nigerian army, in collaboration with Ebu Beago Militia, are burning down people's properties and now they have metamorphosed into burning human beings alive in Oboro and other communities in Biafra land. Two days ago, they burned 17 people alive in a local government area and its everyone with many houses and properties of innocent citizens destroyed completely. The world should come and rescue Biafrans because they are facing difficulties in the hands of the federal government at this time. We need help from the international community to rescue us by separating us from Nigeria.
The army is now going from house to house, searching and killing innocent citizens just because they are Biafrans. They should stop murdering our brothers and sisters. Terrorists have continued to kill innocent Nigerians, mostly Christians and non-Muslims. In the north, but no security agencies has ever moved into this into these theaters of war to kill innocent citizens. Is it because we are Biafrans? There is a genocide going on now in Biafra land by Nigerian security agencies. The world must come to our rescue now. The indigenous people of Biafra has condemned the attacks and killings going on in Imo state. The group accused the Nigerian military and Ebube Ago security outfit of being behind the attacks. Its alleged military personnel had gone from house to house searching and killing innocent citizens just because they were deemed to be pro Biafran agitators. In a statement on Wednesday, the group's media and publicity secretary, Emma Powerful, said the activities of the military and the Bubi Agus outfit were being financed by politicians and their collaborators. Powerful said that Obawo and Olu residents were facing hard times, claiming that the security agencies, especially the military, mapped out those communities for total destruction. He said our people are under severe attack and torture anywhere they are seen. We are dying every day and night, and the world looked the other way. They should stop feeding lies to the public. Nigerians joined security forces, especially the army and police, did not clash with unknown gunmen, ESN, or civilians. Instead, soldiers invaded all and above local government areas and its everyone's. Burned 17 innocent citizens alive and destroyed properties. To my very listeners from wherever you're listening from, now I've come to the end of our today's news. Please do drop by the comment section and let us know what your view is all about. Thank you for listening.